Hello. Is it just me, or is there a global war on the internet going on right now? Country after country is attempting governmental censorship of the internet, something that only a few years ago would have been considered the hallmark of repressive regimes is now being openly lobbied for in so-called Western democracies. If the direct approach does not work, the censorship is often achieved by backroom deals with ISPs. Many countries are also proposing that governments should record everything you do or say on the internet and keep that data for years so they can trawl through it at their leisure looking for something to pin on you. Once again, the idea that governments should engage in wholesale spying on their own citizens was not so long ago limited to repressive regimes. In light of this, it is particularly worrying that more and more things that would be considered trivial annoyances offline are elevated to serious offences because they happened on the internet. Combine this with data retention and a tasteless joke you made two years ago may get you arrested. So much for, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to worry about. Why is this happening? Those waging this war will tell you that it is because the terrorists, or the pedophiles, or the pirates, or the hackers, or some other bogeyman are getting away with murder using this new technology, and that governments and law enforcement need powers in order to keep up. But similar arguments have been made about almost every technological advancement since the beginning of technological advancement. The sky didn't fall in during all those moral panics, and the internet is likely to be no different. It seems to me the real reason is that they see a huge opportunity to censor, surveil and control the general population. Everyone uses the internet now. It isn't just geeks and nerds. We almost all use the internet in some form on a daily basis. It is how we communicate. If they control how you communicate, they can control you. The good news is that the internet also allows you to evade that control. In recent years, people have discovered that they can use the internet to establish global movements that act in a coordinated fashion throughout the world, but without any centralised control or hierarchy. You may not agree with all these causes, but it is up to you what you support. Some movements grow in strength, some fizzle. The main thing that determines whether they succeed or fail is the amount of popular support in the world, not the actions of a particular government or country or media. A recent example are crypto parties. One way to stop the government spying on your every move is to encrypt your personal communication. I can guarantee you that the terrorist, pedophiles, pirate, hackers, bogey monsters, if they exist, already know how to do this but the general population does not. So all these data retention schemes are going to do is enable spying on normal people. On me. On you. So someone had an idea. Why don't we hold events where we teach normal people how to do cryptography? We could call them crypto parties. It doesn't really matter how the idea started. The point is it quickly spread around the world. Because when we say the internet, we don't mean the technology, the servers, the cables. We mean the communities, the friend networks, the people using it. You and me. It isn't a war on the internet. It's a war on you. Learn to defend yourself.